Hey, what's up everyone? Bennett Profixer, and today on the channel, we have another repair shop basics. Today, we're gonna to be talking about how to use a multimeter in order to determine if your TriStar is good or bad on an iPhone. In a previous video, I showed how to use a SmartMod Pro TriStar tester in order to determine if your TriStar was good or bad. This is an extremely awesome tool and I highly recommend it, and I have it linked up in the description below along with everything else on my workbench. Be sure to check that out and don't forget to subscribe to our channel, like this video and hit the notification bell so you can see our content the second that it hits YouTube. Without further ado, let's get started on learning how to use a multimeter in order to test TriStar. Here in front of me on the bench, I have an iPhone 6 Plus and an iPhone 6S. One of these has a bad TriStar, the other one does not. When using a multimeter, you can determine by reading the volts that are coming through the battery FPC if your TriStar is probably good or probably bad. One of the things to use though is use multiple ways to diagnose and test your devices. We always really like to use the SmartMod Pro TriStar tester on all devices that come into the store. It's a really convenient way to test devices and know if they have underlying board issues upon check-in. And if they do read bad, we use a multimeter to confirm the results to see if they match up with what the SmartMod Pro TriStar tester told us. In order to test your TriStar on an iPhone, you can use a multimeter. What you'll do is go ahead and take your multimeter and turn it to volts DC. That is going to be the one that's labeled as VDC, meaning DC volts or volts DC. And you'll see this icon on your multimeter. The next thing that you'll need to do is open up the device. You do need to have access to your battery FPC. So on both of these devices, I've removed the screen off of this one because we are doing board work to it. And then this iPhone 6 Plus, I've removed the screws to lift up the screen and it could have exposed the battery FPC so that we can do some readings on it. Go ahead and grab a regular lightning charge cable that's plugged into a regular wall base. You'll go ahead and plug that into the bottom of the device and then you're going to take your multimeter probes and you're going to re now read the motherboard. It's extremely simple and this is one of the most basic skills that even an entry level cell phone repair tech should know how to do. On my multimeter, I use a yellow and a red. That's just because mine did not come with a black probe. The yellow is actually what yours would be as black. The red is what's red. Go ahead and take the, your black probe and touch it to ground. A good place for that is right on top of the SIM card reader. Then go ahead and touch the furthest left pin inside of the battery FPC. Now look at your multimeter and you should see some type of reading as far as the volts. If you look on our multimeter, it's showing 18 to 17 millivolts, which is partial volts, not even a full volt. And uh, that is the reading that we're getting there. If we go ahead and take our iPhone 6 Plus and we plug that into the bottom, since we have a screen attached, you'll see that the screen will most likely light up in just a minute and it'll probably power cycle. That's completely normal. Go ahead and lift your screen and hold it with, your, uh, with the black probe hand. And while it's balanced up, you can then test the furthest left pin on the battery FPC as well. If we look at the multimeter now, we can see a reading of 3.5 to 3.8, almost 3.9 volts. As long as you're getting up on the higher spectrum of three volts and almost four, that would indicate most likely a good TriStar. Um, and when used in compilation with a SmartMod Pro TriStar tester, you can really weed out the devices that are truly TriStar and ones that really aren't. Like I mentioned before, this is an extremely basic skill. Even the most basic entry level techs, this would be a great skill for them to have. So doing the reading one more time so you can see that, using our left hand to touch ground with our black probe, we're now gonna take our red probe and touch the furthest left pin on the battery FPC. We see that we're getting right about 3.5 to 4 volts. And it does cycle because the phone is power cycling and that's completely normal. But as long as you're getting on the upper end, um, that's totally fine. Now if we go back to our 6S and test that one more time, we're gonna touch our black probe to our SIM reader and then on the furthest left pin, touch our positive, our red probe. We're gonna see that we're getting just partial volts, really just millivolts, which is absolutely not enough. So this would most definitely indicate that the TriStar is probably bad. And also our SmartMod Pro TriStar tester came back as a failed result whenever we ran the TriStar test. I hope that with these skills, you can start to learn a little bit more about board repair diagnostics. And like I mentioned before, this is an extremely basic skill that even an entry level cell phone repair tech must know how to do in order to become successful and effective in their workplace. 
I appreciate everyone that's still watching, and if you like this video, go and hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and hit the notification bell so you can see all of our content the second that it hits YouTube. And like I mentioned before, everything on my workbench, including a multimeter and the SmartMod Pro TriStar Tester, is linked up in the description below. Once again, my name is Ben Rosso, and I'll see you on the next video.